Right, as you can probably hear from that ghastly sound, that is an angle grinder on the side of my van. My brother's actually got some time in his schedule. I didn't want to bother him, but he asked if I had the van fixed yet. I explained the problems I've had. And he's jumped in his van and he's come down. Yeah, so obviously this side hasn't been touched at all. So this side still. I'm going to start cutting this out in a minute. Um, but we have removed all the plastic trim. I'm going to put fiberglass body fill over the top of that. This has been cut off the other side because there's holes behind it um, and being, it's going to be seam, it's going to be seam welded across, seam welded across so it should be flush and then a panel underneath. Um, I'll show you the other side in a minute. There is my old van um, which is now my brother's van if anyone's recognises it. I will show you a tour of that at some point. Um, but just to keep you all like entertained for a minute, here's a sneak preview but that is all you're getting. Uh, I will do a van tour, like I said. So yeah, it's my bro working, working hard at the side of the van at the minute. Uh, yeah. working hard um, I just wish there was something I could do I can't do anything um, to help out the only thing I could do is cut out the other side but we might try and do the other side you know in one panel um, but as soon as this side is done I can seam sealer it and I can go over it with some body filler and uh, yeah a little bit of paint I'm just going to come around this side a minute and show you what we've got up to. Um, these are all patches. This is actually part of the door that came for that van. No, these two pieces here are actually part of the um, replacement slide door that's on Daryl's van now. The piece up here that's off of the van that it is, I think it's this piece. That's uh, the same colour as his van. It's part of, part, of, part of a panel that he put out on his. Um, but yeah, it's very rough. But remember, we're in a field with just a welder and an angle grinder. Just a welder and an angle grinder, that's all we've got. Um, but we've gone back over, we've gone over it with um, fiberglass in the holes and then body fill over the top. I mean, it still needs to be sanded down slightly and then protected. But yeah, this, this is rock hard, this is solid. Still needs to be sealed underneath, um, but it's, that's brilliant. It's been bent round the door, so yeah, that bit, there was, there was a crack on the inside that had just been seam sealed, but that is done now. And we're just cutting out the other side. Yeah, so this panel has now been cut out. I did attempt to do it myself, but I'm nowhere near as brave as Dowlett using the angle grinder. Uh, we're just going to change the disc now. But yeah, you can see like the inner is quite well done still. It's still solid. But all this, I mean, this was all repaired. Remember, this was the quality repair work that I paid for the first time round, which you can see it wasn't done at all. 
so yeah we're just going to tide that up i don't know how far we're going to get to today like light is going very quickly um, but that is a little update on this side right that side is nowhere near finished yet it needs another layer of body filler and smoothing off but that's as much as can be done at the minute um, yeah we need to protect that before the dampness comes so i need to go over it with a bit of under seal i'm just experimenting with colors at the minute because i'm still not sure which color to put the van um, this is just a gloss green it looks a bit better i don't know what anyone else thinks of that but yeah that might happen yet i don't know right i've done a martin again and i decided to do body filler which i've not done for years without protecting my hands um, but yeah one side is nearly done this side is coming along nicely um, yeah so the piece of metal just clamped on and he's going out with the welder. So that's going to be tacked into place for now because the light is fading. Um, yeah, so we need to pack up very soon. But yeah, I've gone through a tub of body filler. That is what that's looking like at the minute. I know it doesn't look very nice, but it certainly is nicer than what it was. What I've done now is. Um, We've actually fiberglassed over the holes and I'll be doing the same on these and then body filler over the top but there's a lot of patches in that we're going to try and do the other side with just one lot with just one patch um, but yeah I need to sand that down as soon as that body filler starts to set a little bit I'll go give it a lick of paint for tonight just protect it but like I said I don't really care what it looks like anymore but let it be a lesson to people like I did actually take these off when I first got the van. Um, you can't even see the silicon now. I actually put silicon in all of these, like inside the um, the plastic bits. Some of them have still got a bit of silicon behind, but yeah, like a lot of it just rots through. There's a repair. There's a repair, and there's a repair. So yeah, still lots of work to do, but Daryl is making progress lovely. I used some of that um, aluminium paint that I had just to go over the bare metal and the body filler at the minute. Um, I still need to smooth off the body filler a hell of a lot, you can see that. Um, but I need to protect it from the elements, or from the elephants. You don't want any, any, I can't even speak, you don't want any elephants running into it. Obviously, I'm part of the VW crew once again, and I'm going for the rat look uh, with the crappy coloured, literally crappy coloured paint and the rusty panels. Um, but these rusty panels have been deliberately rusted. I left them out overnight. Um, I covered them in Vigna. Then I pissed on them, left them out to uh, oxidise, and yeah, that's the finished result. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get a, a prize at the next VW show I go to with that because like, they're so unique and genuine, and no one's ever done that ever. Not even in the hot rod scene. I've just woken up because, yeah, I can hear like a buzzing noise, but it sounds like it's trapped. Like, it sounds like, I don't know, it's very aggressive. And I've just found it. Um, yeah, I don't know how it got where it got. What I'll do actually is climb through the top. That's a silly thing to say. There's a wasp inside my lantern. There we go, there's the wasp inside my lantern.
we've gone full Mad Max style on the sides. Yeah, it's coming along. Right, while Darrell is doing that, I've actually got round to the first time ever since having the van, like nearly three years, of getting rid of the aircon pipes. They went to the Ebus batch units that were at the back, uh, the air conditioning units, that didn't work because there's no compressor at the front. So yeah, I'm just cutting off, doing all the, the little work because I can't do the big work, that's it. I'm trying to justify my being, my being of here. So yeah, as you can see, we've got scrap metal and tools everywhere. Um, we made a plate for the door just because there was too much of a gap. I didn't like it. So... All these holes that hold on the door trim has been fiberglassed. I will go over them with sand. I will go over them with a sander at some point. A bit of body filler and then tidy it up. Um, this is a panel that we've made today, or that Dad was made today. Um, yeah, so the weld comes across here. Nice neat weld, nice neat weld down the bottom. It's fiberglass over the top just to protect it. Um, I still need to get some seam sealer in the gaps onto the weld. But yeah, that is how that's looking at the minute. Which, yeah, it's a vast improvement to what it was. And who cares what it looks like? It's going to be functional. And once I've painted it black at the bottom, you'll never know. Pretty much what the day's been up to. I'm absolutely covered, like from head to toe, my face is in the right state. The van is looking 10 times better than what it was looking. I have something on my camera that looks like seam sealer, or maybe fiberglass. Who knows, who cares? Um, I'm going to help out do the last little bit. Dowell has done most of the work. I haven't done anything really, but I did a bit of cutting, I've done a bit of sanding down, a little bit with the angle grinder. I did try and do some welding, but Daryl had to take over because I was blowing holes in the side of it, like I was just making big round holes. So yeah, uh, it's been three days of hard work for Daryl, only two days for me, but I haven't really done much. Like, I've done nothing really, I've been here, that's all I've done. But I have stripped out the leftovers from the aircon. Um, that's a full bag of rubbishy metal. There is all the plastics that we don't need and then there's a bit, bit more of the side that I cut out there. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to say goodbye.